welcome gamers to Halo Clans for today's interview video. Today's interview is with Epcom uh, S117 SII John and Grizzly XX Bear 17. Okay, how long has your guys' clan been around and that's going back even before your name change? Okay. Um Basically, our clan has been around, I think, for maybe, what is it, like a year now? Not, e not even a year yet. We still haven't refreshed not a year. Even? Oh, yeah, that was last, be, that was yeah, last summer. You, yeah. yeah. Um, so our clan's been around for roughly almost a year now. as Originally as Spartans United, um, but we have recently changed the name to Epsilon Command. All right. What was the reason for your guys' name change? Um, the reason for the name change, basically, you know, for one, I guess there could be many reasons for this. I feel like definitely deep in my mind, one of the uh, reasons for this could have been because of all the hate. Like, I mean, let's be honest. Not a lot of people like me. Not a lot of people like my clan. Spartans United had a really bad rep. So for one, we changed the name because of that. Deep in my mind, that's probably why we did that for the main reason. But one of the also reason, or one of the other reasons is that um, we're a UNSC clan and we wanted to have a, you know more canon style name i know epsilon command is not in the lore but we wanted to have a more like i said like a more canon name to the story not fully canon but it's it makes sense <clears throat> when you look at the name epsilon command or epcom all right uh how many members do you guys currently have in your ranking um well we have we have a good majority of members but we've had some here and go you know it's like you know i got some that leave and take others with them so we've had that in the past couple of weeks and roughly, um, we I think right now we sit around the uh, 50 mark, right around there. Like I said, before before all the stuff went down with Epcom, we had roughly right under 100. All right. Um, what has been your guys' toughest raid? Oh, man, that's a tough one to answer. I can help you out. <laughs> <laughs> um, in all honesty, um, there's there's been a few very tough clans that we've faced off against. I think I can probably narrow it down to one clan <clears throat> if I just discuss or I talk about the clans that we have rated that are more on the, you know, more skillful level. We, like, we've rated UGN. We've rated Exodus. We've rated, um, we've rated Blood Angels before. We're on friendly terms with them, though, but we have rated them. Well, not, actually, now that I ran over those three, like, actually being able to take over the base, the hardest raid was probably against Isaiah because, you know, he, he cheats. He uses anything he can to win. Now, but, I mean, that, that to actually win by default and by technicality, that is the easiest raid to win. But when you put it in a standpoint like that, one of the hardest raids we've ever done was with Exodus. I feel that, because, um, I mean, they, they've raided us before. They've, they've taken our base before, and we've taken one of their bases before. I mean, Exodus, hands down, great clan. Like, we, we've, done, we've done a raid with them. But by far, I think winning by technicality, like I just said, Isaiah is the easiest to win. But winning in general, like by actual force, probably the hardest, I want to say, by still going by the rules, is Exodus. Man, there's, there's some tough guys. There's some tough guys. What do you think recently has been dragging down the community? <clears throat> in my opinion, recently dragging down the community, well, like pretty much every subject, there could be many, many, many reasons for this, whether it's just a bunch of idiots being stupid, whether it's clans dying, anything like that. Now, the, the, the way I see it is that some of the biggest communities out here, like massing up to the whole entire clan community, would be, you know, the mil your military community, your Sanghealy community, your UNSC community, and whatever else that fit into those subjects, fit into those, you know, the, the sub communities, you know, like insurrectionists would probably fit into militarized, whatever. So all those formed up. I think one thing that's probably bringing the community down is the lack of probably actually the lack of raids right now in my opinion because for one i know of two unsc clans that just recently died like that hit rock bottom and that was <clears throat> that was eef epsilon aerodonic fleet and spec warcom they took a huge nosedive now the way i see that is that whether you're don't i don't care whether you're the tiniest clan out there if you're part of this certain community and you die that's one less clan to that community therefore that community becomes smaller so, I mean, like Gold Pack, they died. They were one of the biggest militarized clans, and they died. Their whole clan fell. That right there, I don't know what you would call it and how you would describe that as the community, like what's wrong with the community, but I feel like whatever I just said, you know, like the clans falling for whatever reason it is, I feel like that's the problem with the community, and that's what's going on. And the constant, also another thing I have to point out is that the constant spying, 
like spying on other clans, that can ruin clans. Well, if you're good at it, if you're really good at it, that can ruin clans. And that's what's also dragging down the community. It's causing clans to die. Yeah, it, it is extremely easy to be a spy. Um, basically, all you got to do is create like a free one month account and be like, Easy. Hi, my name's Trevor. I like the color green. Can I join your clean? I see <laughs> your recruitment video. I, yeah, that right yeah, now yeah, it's yeah, seriously yeah. that Speaking easy. That. Speaking of that, I have a few Spartans with Spartan tags that are contacting me. Oh, I saw your recruitment video. Can I join you, clan? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. You tell me. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, I mean, that's what I feel is dragging down the community at this point. What 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 I think is dragging down the community is, like, the lack of people actually wanting to be in a clan. Like, before <laughs> Halo Master Chief Collection out, there was tons of people wanting to actually be this. And now I just feel like wanting to go more, move onward, you know. Not many people want to take part in it anymore. Where do you guys think the community is going? <clears throat> like I said, uh, where the community is going, if it continues to, you know, for this to happen... If it continues with the constant spying and the whatever you want to call it, I mean, if it continues the way it's headed, it's gonna die. And anything, yeah. any here's the thing, when you put it that way, when you take when you take something in a downward slope and say, where do you think it's gonna keep? If it keeps going, what do you think's gonna happen? Obviously, if it's going, if it's continuously going in a downward slope, and if it continues that way, it's it's something bad's gonna happen. So the way I honestly, honestly see it is that. Like I said, if the community continues to be the way it is, it will die like many times before. If it continues, it'll die. But I think that if, you know, certain clans work together, if clans will actually lend a hand and help out other clans grow and get more and more and more clans, they don't have to be the biggest clans. They can be moderate sized clans, you know, just me medium member count and just have the com just either way, have the community fill. So basically what I'm saying is almost like take it into professional sports. You know, you have your minor leagues, I guess baseball reference, minor leagues and major league. You can have the big clan sitting up here clashing and clashing without harming the little clans because when a bigger clan steps on a little clan, then that little clan isn't going to stand a chance. So if we were to have, you know, the big clans, you know, duke it out and then the little clans, the smaller clans within the community go at it. And then from that, learn from it, learn how to run the clan learn everything they can and then grow from that that's how i think the community would get better if it were to if that were to happen but you know i'm not the one who decides that it's everyone else who does yeah i got great on chase there it's these big clans wanting to pick on the smaller clans making this clan die big clans then you go big clans small clans then you go small clans all right uh i read on your website that you guys moved from mcc back to reach yes that was yes be. yes yes we did yeah you can go ahead and answer that one grizzly yeah, um, basically, when we moved to MCC, we were thinking, you know, what everybody was thinking at the time, was like, it's going to be a great game. It's got all... I think you lagged. Yeah, a little bit. Halo's on. It's going to be good for clans. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be good for clans. You know, it's gonna, we're going to have this new forge. We can make better maps, better maps to fight on. But then when you actually get into the game, you find out that the multiplayer is messing up, which is now fixed. And then you find out also the most important part of the progress. You can't do anything with the clan. You can't get the clan. I mean, you can, but it's more better to have that clan join in when you have got already set up. That joining progress was a crucial part they took out, and that's why we came back to Halo Reach. All right. Um, with that being said, uh, with recent hype over the uh, Xbox One's new games coming out, rumors of a... Uh, new Halo Wars game, and obviously Halo 5 Guardians. Um, do you guys plan on moving to next-gen consoles in the future? Yes, we actually do. The reason for this, though, is that what we plan to do is we want to, I mean, Reach, let's be honest. Reach is a great game. It's fun. Everyone likes it, okay? The, well, obviously, the ones who play it almost every day, they obviously like the game. And Reach is a very amazing game. Beautiful game. So what we plan to do is probably just stay on reach even if even if halo 5 guardians when it comes out we're probably going to stay on reach you know finish our fighting there have the have fun on the game while we still can while we still have that chance to you up know, to 2016 where it cuts off yeah exactly and when like you just said it when it when it dies there's nothing we can do what do you expect us to do sit there and system link at each other's houses no it's not going to work, obviously. So, yes, we do plan to go to next-gen consoles, and we do plan to hit up the Halo 5 Guardians, hope for that multiplayer and, you know, custom games, you know, to be great. Yeah, but before we move, we're actually going to send one person over there to check out if it's 
compatible with glass. Well, let's be honest. I mean, many people, the release of that game, the night, everyone's going to be playing that game. So. Oh, oh yeah. I'm going to be waiting in line for that game. <laughs> Same here. Yeah, I just but, made my money for the game. Yeah, but the thing is with that is that, you know, what I plan to do, you know, I'm going to go get some buddies, party up, beat the campaign on Legendary, and then, you know, test out multiplayer and te- uh, test everything out, you know? I mean, and then if it's if it's actually worth being there as a clan, then we'll we'll go there. But let's be honest: if the Reach servers and well, not Reach servers, Xbox servers in general shut down, where else would we go besides MCC? How does structure work within your guys' clan? I'll, I'll answer that. Um, structure with our clan is basically like your military, regular military structure. You got your enlisted ranks. You know, you got your enlisted. The higher enlisted you go, the more people you get in your command. And once you get to a certain rank listed, you go up to your officer ranks. And of course, I'm the highest officer rank within the Marines. And it, basically, that's how it works. You got Chase above everyone. So. By the way, when he says Chase, that's my real name. And that's just what they call me. So basically, the way it works, and if you're, are you, you're talking about full structure? Yeah, full structure, like uh, rank, that kind of stuff. Like okay. you go yeah. off an XP system, what? Yeah, here's the thing with that. Um. As you already know, we're a UNSC clan, so therefore we have our Marines. We have our Navy. Now, we are not yet going to open the Army or the Air Force yet because if we don't, we like our objective here is what good is a branch with little members? Like if you have a bunch of branches and little members in each branch, it's not nearly as good as one big branch. So right now, currently, we have the Marines and Navy. Those are our main branches. Obviously, a component of the Marines are ODSTs. Special Forces, you know, Orbital Drop Shop Shooters. And that's a component of the Marines, so therefore it kind of consists of a branch. But the, um, like the two main branches are Marines and Navy, and then the sub-branches, obviously. So ODSTs are a sub-branch, and the Spartan 2 program and Spartan 3 program are a component of the Navy, which we actually have up and running. So we, technically speaking, we have four branches, two main ones two subs and along with ranking up basically what we evaluate you on is we like i mean it's one thing if you're good at the game yeah you know that's great and all but we would we would much rather take someone who is medium skilled over someone who is extremely skilled that has the will to fight i understand it's a video game obviously but if you have the will to stay in a raid for hours and hours and hours and hours upon end using your time out of your life to sit on a video game with a clan and sit in a raid for hours and hours and hours that that shows devotion that shows you have the will to fight and that we want you as a clan member so we will evaluate you on that let alone skill and how you perform in raids and training and whatever that can gain you rank but one of the biggest things that'll also add some points to that is recruiting if you go out of your way to recruit for the clan you'll you'll get rewarded in a very positive way do you guys have any any enemies or allies outstanding just anybody that you would like to mention currently like as a UNSC clan and as, you know, our standards in general, we don't really do allies. But if we had to pick some of our closest, you know, like friends in the community or whatever, allies, if you want to call it that, you know, um, would probably be, would definitely be Blood Angels. They're good friends of ours. And Oni, the uh, obviously the Oni with Admiral Osman, that, you know, big or, or, uh, Oni organization. Mm-hmm. Um, so those are pretty much our main closest allies. Um and then as for enemies, currently, like, you know, we say, oh, I hate this person. We hate that clan, whatever, whatever. That doesn't necessarily mean we're enemies. Here's the problem is that if I had to pick people that would be our enemies out of everyone else in the community, it would be LN because we don't like them. They're jerks for the most part. Some of them are pretty cool. You know how that works. HSC, we, don't, we do not like HSC. And we also do not like FS which is not a very well-known clan. They're kind of small. But we, long story short, we do not like those clans. I want to go ahead and point this out there. If, by the time this video is uploaded, if any of the Exodus members see this, we don't hate your clan. It's just natural for you and to see clans to fight insurrections. We have nothing personal against your clan. Yeah, the only person I have per- the personal issues with in that clan is Irish Charlo. Do not like you. So Irish Charlo, if you're watching this, I don't like you. <laughs> That's it. All right, is there anything you guys wanted to add, like a recruitment message, or ask me a question? I'll go ahead and add a recruitment message, because, I mean, we're clans. We try to get bigger, and whenever you get a chance to recruit, and try to recruit, you do it. So, basically, I mean, right now, our Navy is not that big, okay? We're, right now, we're trying to expand the Marine branch. So, one of our Marine mottos is, you know, or one of, one of the mottos is, you know, after we send a recruitment message, you know, message me to enlist today and fight for tomorrow or join today and fight for tomorrow so you know right now 
we're trying to get our Marines, you know, well as possible. Our Marines have been recognized as some of the best Marines in the community from Oni. We are, are not going to, you know, throw Oni under the bus or anything. But just talent of my Marines, of the whole Marines in the clan. Um, we had a big squad of Marines and like two ODSTs and myself up against um, a bunch of conscripts and Oni Spartans, fully conscripted Oni Spartans. There was like three, there was like three conscripts and like the rest were Spartans. And our team, our basic team of Marines, defended against them and won on one of their maps to obviously practice and test them out. And we also attacked and was victorious. And Karavu himself, whether you know the guy or not, I'm just going to point that out, though. He's one of the higher up Spartans in Oni. He said, I am very after that raid. He said, I'm very, very, very impressed with your Marines. So I'll say it again. Our Marines are recognized as some of the best in the community. <clears throat> so enlist today. That's all I got to say for recruitment. All right. That about does it for this interview. I thank both of you for coming in and doing an interview with this uh, Halo Clans fanatic. So this has been Halo Clans signing on or signing off. Uh, yeah. Oh. See you guys <laughs> next time. Peace.